Here's a small little tip that's actually a, a new feature in Adobe Muse 7.0, which came out today. Uh, this is something that's kind of easy to miss just because they kind of snuck it in there. Uh, but it's definitely something useful. It's something that I've wanted for a while. And it's that we can now create 100% uh, page width items. We can really do this with the browser fill as well. Uh, and now you can set a parallax scrolling effect to fill the entire shape. Uh, if you guys remember, you used to have to tile an object in order to be able to uh, use it as a fill with scroll motion. You'd have to tile it vertically if you wanted to do vertical scroll motion, uh, or sometimes horizontally if you wanted to do scroll motion in a sideways direction as well. Uh, now you can finally scale to fill. So as I make this bigger or smaller, you can see that it's actually uh, putting forth an effort to fill my entire browser and stay that way. So now you'll find that when you do create a shape, in this case I created a rectangle, and I made that rectangle a 100% page width rectangle by dragging it all the way to the edge of my canvas here. I dragged it all the way to the edge on both edges so I get that little red line that appears. Um, and then once I've done that, I could go into fill at the top here, and I can set an image fill, but unlike before, I can set the fitting to be scale to fill. Uh, now you could always do that, but you wouldn't be able to apply the scroll motion if you did that. Scroll motion would be uh, grayed out, it would be unselectable. So now I can use scroll motion to set the speed of this uh, to be half speed, that's what 0.5% or 0.5 times represents, and I've got it scrolling uh, in the regular upward motion. And uh, now I can combine scale to fill along with that. And in this case I have the position set to center, so that way as it scales outward it's scaling proportionally uh, up, down, left, and right, all out from the center. Uh, I think that center position is probably the best way to go. So that's a pretty neat one. And if you guys like these fills that I'm using here, uh, these sort of light bokeh fills, uh, you can head over to museresources.com, and under graphics you'll find those. I, I put those online for you guys in case you like them. Bokeh background pack one. Uh, so far I've only got one pack, but I'll probably be creating more of those later. They're, they're pretty popular, pretty nice looking too. So if you guys like this tutorial, please subscribe. I've got more coming soon. I know this one was a quickie, but uh, stay tuned.